Today, I will be teaching you about memory and variables. Let's get to it. So what is memory? Computers have three special qualities. They get input, they process the input, and they produce output. Here is an example. When frying an egg, the input is you cracking the raw egg into the pan. The process would be the egg frying, and the output would be the fried egg. The same way that this happens, a computer has an input, a process, and an output. The input is what the user enters into the computer. For example, that could be um, their name or anything else. The process would be what the computer does with that input and what it calculates using that input. The output is what it tells the user, which is the completed calculation. Now, to process something, you need to store the input that the user enters, and that is memory. Now, when you need to calculate something, you need to pull that specific information out of the memory. And to do that, you need to assign the piece of memory a name, and that name is a variable. So now let's open Python, and I'll show you how it exactly works. Now I'm going to show you exactly how to use a variable in Python. Say I want to assign the, the letter A a number that is 1. So I type in A equals 1. And now the letter A, whenever you use the letter A in the code, it'll assign, Python will assign A the number 1. So say I print A and run it. See, it'll show one over here in here. And you didn't say print one, you said print A. And it realized that A is equal to one and that's how it printed A. When you type A is equal to 1, that is stored in the memory, as I said before, and it is the input because you are entering it into the computer. And when you put in the print A, you are pulling it out of the memory and it's going to print A. You can also assign variables names or letters of any sort, so I can say A equals but may, you have to make sure that you put it in quotation marks because it won't work otherwise because it will be thinking a word is a number and that's not possible. So I can say YouTube here and then print A here. And when I run it, here you can see it printed YouTube. Again, as I said before, it has to be in quotation marks. If I don't put it in quotation marks, if I just do YouTube, it will give you this error saying name YouTube is not defined because it doesn't know what YouTube is. And you can also do stuff like this. So say A equals one, B equals two, and then you can print A plus B. And when you run it, as you see, it'll say 3 because it knows that A is equal to 1 and it knows that B is equal to 2. So it just adds them together and it gives you 3. You can also do things like this. So A is equal to 1, B is equal to A plus 1. And now if you print B, it'll say 2 because here it knows that A is 1, and down here it, you're telling it that B is A plus 1, and A is 1, so it'll do 1 plus 1. When you print B, it'll show 2. So variables are really easy to use. They're not complicated at all. And in Python, to make games and other codes, variables are really useful because you can change it based on whatever the user says. 
So it can be any number you want based on whatever is in the code. And they're really useful. So that's it for this video. I'll put a link down in the description box below to my playlist of coding in Python. And it, it has multiple videos on how to do different things in Python. And it takes you step by step through the, the basics in Python all the way up to an advanced level. So I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please give it a like and please subscribe if you want to see more content. Thank you very much and bye bye.